वेलकम यू एवरीवन हाउ आर यू राइट आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड आई एम आल्सो फाइन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सरफेस it is uh, you know the uh, in the, it is in the syllabus of uh, first year btech course on all the first year btech courses now what is this development of surface let's see an object what is this this is a cylinder a cylinder you know the front view of the cylinder if it is placed on the ahp then front view is a rectangle and the top view is a circle that you know now if it is a hollow cylinder and you we cut through it so hollow cylinder means it is made by sheet sheet metal work now what types of sheet folding are uh, that we are getting this cylinder now it is packaging is very important and for this packaging technology this development of uh, surface is very important so how with a very uh, common example i am showing say uh, we are cutting it and then i'll fold After unfold, say after cutting, unfolding, what you are getting? A rectangular surface. Or if you fold the uh, rectangular surface, you are getting a cylinder. So un cut and unfold. This is the surface that generates the hollow object or hollow solid. that is the topic today topic of discussion today so please uh, follow the lecture so as i told you the development of surface means unfold an object after unfolding what shape you are have so there is a, a, a cuboid shape and if we uh, unfold all the surfaces hollow cuboid then what types of shape we are having you know that all the surface here is a rectangular and is the isometric view of that shape now if we unfold this this is one uh, rectangular surface then uh, this side means this this and this is for the top surface here and this is the surface then what is happening if we fold it this type of surface then we are having this hollow cuboid uh, some uh, common geometry i am showing here and that if it is a hollow cylinder then simply it is a rectangle that i also have shown using uh, your paper and if it is not uh, uh, if uh, two uh, faces are there that is circular and if it is a, a pyramid then unfolding that hollow pyramid unfolding that you are getting this type of surface so these are the uh, different uh, shape of uh, the different uh, uh, so hollow solids after getting unfold here we we'll learn that how to develop a truncated right circular cylinder truncated means if we cut it uh, say the uh, front and top view uh, is given means the orthographic projection of the hollow uh, circular cylinder that is given so what is the dimension dimension is the base diameter 60 and height 70 So how to draw the, in the base circle? Uh, this is the reference line. In the base circle is the uh, circle with diameter sixty, and on the top it looks like this. As for the question, it is given that the uh, the auxiliary plane is along this, and it will cut at a point of 
35 degree on that side and this side uh, 70. Now we have to develop the surface. First the method to develop. First uh, as there is no uh, corner points on the circle so divide the circle. I have divided here in 8 division and give the name of the division points A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For the top surface also, whatever be the angle we are cutting, the, from the top this surface also looks like a circle. And uh, same uh, the uh, points here on this surface is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then draw the projection from all the lines. And they, then only trace these points. 1, 2, 3. Now this is the drawing, then in the, to develop surface, draw the projection line from here, actually projection line from all these 8 and 8 point. So total 16 projection line. But here, from all these 8 point, we, if we draw the projection line, we are getting single projection line and from here we are having 5 projection lines. Then we know that we have to draw this position line also. Now take this length. So we have cut it along this. So from the for the base it is a dash point. So after cutting again we will get, get on both sides this a. So a dash to a a dash means after complete unfold at the, the same point divided in two corner and what is the length it is the pi of the, 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 the circumference of the circle so measure in the circumference of the circle draw a dash to a dash now all the points a to a is it is equally spaced so divide a dash to a point in equal a division and that's why I draw a dash x line and cut equal lengths. The division method also we have learnt in scale. And this is the last eight division, then join this point and a dash. Then draw the parallel. This is the parallel line for this one. Similarly, draw the rest of the parallel lines. So all these lines are parallel to a dash x. Now these are parallel lines intersect at the different points b dash c dash. So these are the points. Then draw the rest of the position line. Now also draw some vertical lines from a dash to this a dash. Then notice how we are having this a dash point, one dash point. The line coming, one dash is lying on a dash to one dash. So from one, this point. So again from two, two to b, two b. So one line is from two, other line is from b. So that is two, two dash points. This is 3 dash point coming from line 3. 4 dash is here along D. So D dash to this, this is 4 dash. Similarly 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash and again here also on the top surface again it is the 1 dash. Now simply join these all these points and get the profile. So finally, if we unfold, if we cut along this and unfold it, we will get this type of surface. Or vice versa, if we have to get this type of uh, cylinder, then we have to cut the sheet like this profile. And after folding this one, 
will get this type of cylinder truncated cylinder so after uh, development of uh, cylinder we will try to draw truncated cone again uh, the uh, base diameter and the height of the cone is there and and uh, auxiliary plane we know that uh, this AIP auxiliary inclined plane that is uh, inclined 45 degree to the ASP and uh, definitely perpendicular to AIP means it is perpendicular to VP and then cut it after cutting so initially before cutting this is the cone and cone uh, front view and top view and then uh, how to draw say uh, if we uh, simply unfold this cone if we cut along this and unfold it then we will get this type of shape what is the drawing method this is equals to the this 70 slant height the radius here is radius of the arc is slant height of the cone and how you are getting this angle you just measure the angle what is the formula the length is here pi d radius is 70 diameter is given and we know that this length arc length which is equals to pi d equals to radius of the arc means this is l l is the uh, slant height is the radius here l and this is the theta and hence we are calculating the value of theta from this equation and we are having 154 degree then follow the next step we will copy this figure so cutting will be on this figure now uh, you will uh, measure uh, this angle 154 using a, a protector so draw it and now we have to cut this cone draw the projection lines and follow carefully and you notice that after completion all the steps this is the VP and this is the HP see it is a 55 not 60 here it is the 45 degree angle say as per the given problem it is 45 degree angle then draw the projection the condition is that it will intersect at the middle point so this is the middle point then draw it we are drawing the same curve that we have drawn in the last slide then what you just look this point is lying on the line o dash 5 dash remember o dash 6 dash it is also the slant height though in the front view it look shorter so we have to get all these points here 1 to 8 so how we will get it this angle is known then draw this uh, arc here draw this position from all these cutting points this kind of cutting points and then draw this arc now divide this arc in equal a division how first divide this angle so join this point and this point again divide this angle then we will similarly we will divide it get this so divide this angle then again subdivide these angles so it is 8 division now we can give the name of the points as 1 dash to 1 dash it is the point of the base now how we are having a dash 
a point a is lying on slant height a one dash o this is o point so draw the projection line from here then b draw the pro uh, slant height projection line from here and draw the arc with the radius this to this so b point is lying on o dash a dash so it is here similarly c and all points now join the curves after joining we are having the desired curve so finally we have drawn the development of truncated cone means if we fold this surface then only we are getting this type of truncated cone truncated means cut from here and remove this part and it is hollow cone differently these are all of the references that i have used to prepare this video thank you okay so this is all about this development of surface that i have discussed today and i hope you have enjoyed the class and uh, understand and if you have any doubt any queries please place your doubt your queries on the comment section and uh, i like to thanks you all for listening with patience the lecture thank you